I hear people saying that in Tamil Nadu, farming has been happening for over twelve thousand years, probably the longest anywhere in the world. We are still plowing the same land and for all these millennia it fed us, but now in two generations we have brought it to a place where all the studies are showing nearly twenty-five percent of the land, agricultural land in India is on the verge of becoming a desert. Becoming a desert means this, for any land to be considered as soil, there must be a minimum of two percent organic content. In many states, especially like Punjab and Haryana, the organic content has come down to point zero five percent, not point five, point zero five percent. This means it's on the verge of becoming a desert. That means you cannot grow a thing in it, in the next five to ten years it may happen. Why is such a thing happening? See, in one acre of land, let us say eight to ten tons came out of it. What you have taken out is not sugar cane, what you have taken out is topsoil. So on an average, in this country, year on year, 5.3 billion tons of topsoil is taken away in the form of crop. This is nearly one millimeter. How much are we putting back? What we are putting back is negligible. How do we put back organic content? From where does it come? Either you must have trees which will shed leaves or you must have animal waste, lots of animals and the waste will become organic content. Trees are already gone. Animals are all traveling out in the form of meat. When you export meat, you must understand you are not sending meat. You are giving away India's topsoil. I want you to do some simple arithmetic and tell me, in how many years will we become a total desert? The greatest achievement we have in our country is that without any great infrastructure, without any scientific knowledge, without much financial support, just with traditional wisdom and blood and sweat, our farmers are producing food for over a billion people. This is the greatest achievement in the country. But today, we are pushing the farming community to a place where they have to take their own life. There are many reasons for this, but we should not forget. One fundamental reason is, they are working with not so productive land, not enough water. Thank you.